Welcome to Electron Online, and our next example is another one of those dimension type problems, a little bit different this time. Here we have a track. Of course, a track typically is 400 meters around. And let's say that we have straightaways that are 80 meters. What is the width of that track? Or, with other words, what is the distance between one end and the other end of the track in the width dimension? Okay, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we can see there's a relationship between the width and the radius of the semicircles on the end of the tracks. So we can say that the width is equal to two times the radius. Also, we know that the full length of the track is 400 meters. So the length being 400 meters, and we know that the straightaways are 80 meters each. So the length of the curves would be equal to the length uh, minus the twice the distance of the straightaway, of the straight sections. All right, that means the length of the curves is equal to the total length, which is 400, minus 2 times 80, which is equal to 400 minus 160, which is equal to 240. That would be the length of both curves. That means the length of each curve is 120 meters, half of that. So that means we have a 120 meter curve here and a 120 meter curve over there. All right, next we need to find the radius. And we know that the relationship to a circle is that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. That would be a full circle. And the circumference of a half a circle is equal to pi times r, which means that r is equal to the circumference of a half a circle divided by pi. And since we know that w is equal to 2r, so since w is equal to 2 times the radius, that means the width is equal to 2 times half the circumference divided by pi. So in this case, that is equal to 2 times 120 meters divided by pi. All right, now we need a calculator. And so we have 240 divided by pi equals 76.4 meters. 76.4 meters, and that would be the distance from one side to the other side of the track on the inside. And that's how we work with that. So here's a nice little example how we get a certain figure, and we should be able to figure out everything about it dimension-wise by relating length to width to radius to circumference and so forth. And that's how we do that.